How's everybody doing? I promise you I didn't even want to do this here. Yeah. I did not want to do it. But y'all start hitting my inbox. Talking about some. Y'all start hitting my inbox with some Lewis. You said you was going to do a blog on why men cheat and we ain't seen it yet. I'm like, hold on, man. Y'all just give me a second, man. I really ain't want to release it. I'm just be honest with you. I ain't want to put it out there, but duty calls. So, with that being said, let me start out with my opener. We are all born sinners. Our sinful natures are inherited through Adam untimely, though immediately passed through our fathers. Mankind has a natural bent towards selfish, selfishness, which apart from God's grace, ultimately destroys every one of them. Okay, we all know the story of Adam and Eve. Uh, Adam came to the woman and she was like, just eat the apple. And I guess he was horny that day, like, well, let me go and eat it because you look like, you know, you, you're going to be tripping later if I don't give you none. Or, you know, however that worked out. You know, I wasn't there. But, <laughs> I wasn't there. But, uh, let me explain what the flesh is. The flesh is selfish, greedy, and has no sense of morals at all. Now, you are what the Bible teaches. I'm, I'm getting this out of the Bible anyway just to get to my point. You are a spirit being inside of flesh. Uh, it's in flesh's nature to go against the spirit and, and what's right. Even Jesus, although he was a perfect man, he doubted God at one point where he succumbed to his flesh after they beat him. Uh, he said, why have you forsaken me? Speaking to God, and God told him, just play it out. I'm not going to forsake you. But even he fell to his flesh at one point and said, why have you forsaken me? And I watched the movie, and he was up on that hill for a long time before he came down and took that beating, uh, which I would have never came down. No, not, not taking them hits. But a lot of uh, there's men whose downfalls have been a woman. Samson and Delilah, Adam and Eve, Jezebel and King Ahab. I know y'all hear the old Baptist women talking about she ain't number the Jezebel. Well, it came from Jezebel and King Ahab in the Bible. I'm not going to get into it. Go look it up yourself. But it's in a man's nature. Remember earlier I said flesh is greedy and flesh is selfish. Well, here's what you have. It's not that the dude you with doesn't like you. That's not the case. It's just that when flesh takes over... It's hard to let that spirit kick back in when you're not dying to your flesh daily. Now here's what's real. Let me get a definition of righteous. Righteous is acting in upright, moral way, virtuous, a righteous and godly person. Now, that's what righteousness is. Uh, church, going to church doesn't make you holy or doesn't make you any better than anybody. But it kind of it, it kind of bothers me that people don't go to church not to be holy or be uh, holier than thou art and things of that nature. Uh, saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, walking in the order of Mel Chesnick. I ain't saying all that. But you go to get new information. And it, it bothers me when people don't have that new information going in them daily. How does, this go, how does it get to a men cheat? I'm about to tell you. Hold on. You rushing, girl. It ain't going to be that long. I'm at three minutes and 45 seconds right now. Men have a tendency to succumb to their flesh. Men believe that they don't cry, they don't believe in hiding their emo in, in, in putting their emotions out there, they believe in hiding them. You can shoot a guy ten times, hit him with twelve cars, and run him over twice, and he's gonna be like, hey, I'm good, I need some help, but I'm good. He not gonna cry, because that's what men believe. They believe in not crying and things of that nature. Instead of a man, here's what a man should do. When a man gets an urge to cheat on a woman, instead of coming to her and say, hey, I've been having urges to cheat. We need to pray about this and get this situated because I don't want to cheat on you because you're such a good person to me. He lets the flesh kick in. See, hiding your emotions is the flesh. So if you have a dude that's insecure and hiding his emotions and things of that nature, that means he's succumbing to his flesh. The flesh is, is telling dudes, hey man, your gal over there cheating on you, dog. I know, she ain't sleep. Like, that's the flesh. The devil doesn't know your thoughts, but he can throw in suggestions to you. And he does it through the flesh. Now, what the reason a man would cheat is here's why. Let's say he's been drinking. Well, drinking has nothing to do with the spirit at all. That's all flesh. Well, he's drunk. It's a girl across the bar looking at him. Like, what's up, man? Is you going to come holler or what? 
he believes you're asleep. He goes over there, talks to her for a little bit. She says, hey, I stay across the street. Why don't you come holler at me? He goes across the street. They end up doing what they do. Remember earlier I said flesh is selfish and greedy. He got greedy. It's not that you're not the good woman. It's just that he seen something right here that's looking real good. I'm on that liquor, fleshed and kicked in, and I'm trying to see what that's going to do. So at the end of the day, he went across the street and did his thing. A righteous man wouldn't even put himself in that situation. He would be like, you know what? I feel myself succumbing to this flesh, so let me go home. So why do men cheat? It's in their nature to cheat. It started with Adam. It's in the man's flesh to cheat. So if he doesn't have new knowledge... And he doesn't, hadn't learned about flesh. First off, every man needs to know flesh. If you don't know flesh and how it works, you need to learn it. Or you're going to fall victim a whole bunch of times to your flesh if you don't handle it. Trust me, I know, bro. And I'm, I'm, I'm not here to, to judge nobody, man. Because, hey, I done been there, homeboy. Now, as far as cheating goes, I ain't cheating on nobody because I'm single. How about that? Look that up. Uh, I'm career single. So uh, until I meet somebody, I'm going to be a career single. So when it comes to cheating, I ain't cheated on nobody. I'm just being Lou, giving some valuable information, life skills, iHustleNation.com. But men have a tendency to fall victim to women. It started early and it's been passed down to us. Not that the woman we have ain't good. Look at King Kong, for instance. Big old King Kong, he'll bust your head for free. You ain't even got to pay him. It's like, I'm going to just bust your head because I'm King Kong. I don't know if y'all seen the movie. He walk up in the tower and so is Rex. He grab his mouth. He rip it open. He throw him. He like, what? Big old King Kong who could nobody stop. The dude was a beast, literally. He fell. He succumbed to a little white woman who, you know, did tricks and amazed him. And, you know, she soothed the beast. Kind of like Samson and Delilah, you know. Samson was... Actually, he was a skinny guy, believe it or not. Samson wasn't big. He was skinny. The Bible, because the Bible says, you're Samson, where's your strength? You know, and he was a, you know, he was a little dude. So, you know, he probably had a Napoleon complex, walk around whooping on people. Uh, needless to say, Delilah put him to sleep, cut his hair, and, you know, he lost his power. He succumbed to a woman. The dude who is the man amongst all the lands succumbed to a woman. Now, is it possible not to succumb to a woman? Yes, it is. Job in the Bible did it. If you don't know about Job in the Bible, go look it up. Job had everything. Uh, the devil and God made a wager. God said, you know what? Take everything from Job. I bet you he won't curse my name. He took everything from Job. Job didn't curse his name. But Job's wife told him. She said, say, why are you still worshiping this God? He took your kids, your money, your everything. You need to curse that God you're talking to. If you curse that God, you'll get everything back. Job say, I won't do it. And God told the devil, have you considered my son Job? Test him out. And I bet you he'll show you that you can't uh, uh, make a man succumb to the flesh like you think you can, bottom line. And his wife said it. So his wife left him. Bottom line, Job was sick, had boils on him. He was about to die. Then he came back super healthy, got a better wife, more kids, more money. Because, you know, he showed himself approved. So with that being said... How do you get a man that won't cheat? Well, find a man that won't cheat on God, and you'll find a man that won't cheat on you. What? Man, that was deep right there. Y'all ought to be copywriting that right there for me. Dude ain't in no church. I read the Bible 15 minutes every morning. I don't read it because somebody else said, you need to be reading it. I do it for myself. See, you have a man who don't even do anything or try to get self-knowledge for himself. He don't even want to know his flesh. He thinks he already know. He don't want to open up to you because that's what he's been told to do. Men don't do that. So bottom line, why do men cheat? The majority of them are ignorant as hell. Why is your man going to cheat on you? Because you know he's ignorant. You just staying with him because you don't want to be lonely and you're playing it safe. It might work out for you. I don't know how long. But consider a guy like Job. That man was not turning his back on God. His wife told him. Curse your God or I'm leaving you. She hit the door. Job said, hey, I'm staying with my God. That's the type of man that ain't going to cheat on you. A righteous man. Your dude don't even know where his Bible is at. He ain't been to church since Easter when he was 12. And you say you got a good dude? You might want to switch that up, Charlie. LifeSkillsIHustleNation.com. Thank you for your time.